Today we discussed a range of trilateral, regional, and global issues, and I cannot emphasize enough the importance of our economic relationships. Canada and Mexico rank as the first or second largest export market for 42 U.S. states and support nearly 3 million U.S. jobs. You asked about Russian interference in Mexican elections. Uh, all I could say to you is we know that Russia has fingerprints in a number of elections around the world. We hear this from our European counterparts as well. My advice would be to Mexico would be pay attention. Pay attention to what's happening. My message to people trying to understand what the president's doing with immigration is let's have it very clear what the rules are, let's enforce those rules, and then people that desire to come to the United States know exactly what the pathway is to get here, and they will have certainty when they arrive, because we have so many people living in the country today that immigrated, and they're living under a huge cloud of uncertainty. The, with the Trump administration, we've committed to have a very close communication, and that has proven to be um, a tremendous benefit for the relationship. I, I uh, think that in, in many ways, the relationship today is more fluid, it's, uh, it's closer than it was with previous administrations, which might be surprising to some people, but that's a fact of life. And I want to highlight the role uh, that, and the leadership of Secretary Tillerson, who has been instrumental um, to achieving this and to bring our countries closer. Yes, we do have uh, uh, some differences, as, any, as every other country does, but um, we've been working very closely, we've achieved substantial things, and we're looking into the future.